Thank you very much. His Excellency Majed Al Mesmar, Director General of TDRA. His Excellency Mohammed Al Zaruni, Dean of the RA 23. Ms. Carol Wilson, Chair of the RA 23. Ms. Doreen Bogdan Martin, ITU Secretary General. Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 2023 Radio Communication Assembly. Let me first thank our host, in my turn, the United Arab Emirates for their warm reception and for the excellent facilities provided for our event. It is always a pleasure to be back in the UAE. Dear delegates, the Radio Communication Assembly marks the end of a study period. This study cycle has been a particularly challenging one. We have had to overcome the difficulties posed by the COVID-19 pandemic that forced us to hold virtual study group and working party meetings and rely more heavily on progressing the work via correspondence groups. However, this experience has deepened our appreciation for the value of meeting in person, benefiting from the mutual respect and long-lasting friendships that we develop when we come together. While the use of virtual meetings made it more difficult to find consensus in the discussions, it also allowed more people to attend and participate in the meetings. As compared to the previous study period, the overall level of participation in all study groups and working parties together increased on an average by approximately 25%. Despite these challenges, we had some notable achievements. First and foremost, we continued to progress our work program and completed the preparatory process for the WRC 23 on schedule. The text of the draft CPM report to the WRC 23 was submitted on schedule, allowing the CPM to be held in the early spring, meeting the requirement that it occur no less than five months prior to the start of the WRC. Despite the impact of the pandemic, ITUR study groups continue to effectively treat their areas of work, approving 152 recommendations and finalizing the work on 123 ITUR reports and two handbooks, including the highly anticipated handbook on small satellites. The small satellites handbook was produced in response to resolution ITUR 68 to promote the development of small satellites and better serve the needs of the membership and the entire satellite industry. ITU also published the much-awaited recommendation on detailed specification of the radio interfaces of IMT 2020, also known as the 5G specifications, and work has already begun on IMT 2030 and beyond, which will correspond to the sixth generation of mobile communications. As you can see, huge amounts of work have been undertaken within the study groups, and there is more required in the next study period as the need for propagation modeling and evolution of technology is ongoing. The value of the work carried out in the ITUR study groups did not go unnoticed to the external world. As the Secretary General just mentioned, this year, ITUR study group six won the Engineering, Science, and Technology Emmy Award for the development of a radio communication standard for high dynamic range television, or HD, HDR TV. The award, given by the Television Academy, recognizes the work done by engineers and other experts within ITUR to develop a global HDR TV standard that provides viewers with an enhanced visual experience. As we look into the future work of the ITU radio communication study groups, we need to keep in mind the opportunities that new technologies bring to deliver capacity and coverage everywhere, bridging the digital divide, as well as the challenges and impacts they will have on our lives. Our planet is also definitely in need of our attention. In the next study cycle, our work in the area of science services will most likely gain an enhanced level of prominence and visibility in the broader public sphere as the world collectively addresses the challenge of climate change and the spectrum needs for future space economy. Ladies and gentlemen, during the next five days, you will have the opportunity to consider a number of draft recommendations developed by the study groups that will require your attention. I'm confident that you will find the appropriate solutions to complete the task successfully. The RA will also provide a suitable occasion to look ahead and define how we will conduct the next study period and the structure in which it shall be undertaken. 
The assembly is also the moment to review the ITUR resolutions that provide guidance to the activities of the study groups and the conference preparatory meeting. Of particular importance is to successfully conclude the work that was conducted by the RAC correspondence groups on the revision of the text of resolution ITUR 1.8 and the development of a working document towards a preliminary draft new resolution of promoting gender equality, equity, and parity in the ITUR. Dear colleagues, the Radio Communication Assembly will have the delicate task of electing chairs and vice chairs to the study groups and to the CCV, CPM, and RAG. In this respect, due attention will need to be taken to the guidance provided in Resolution 208, revised Dubai 2018. The time available for each item of business is short. And, as always, you can rely on the staff of Radio Communication Bureau to provide any assistance and support that you may need. I'm confident that with the goodwill that prevails at events such as these, together with the sound leadership of your chair, we can look forward to a rewarding assembly and to a fruitful outcome. Thank you very much for your attention.